So a lot of people like me are excited about the new legend in Apex Legends coming out, Revenant. But they're also very excited about something that seemed possible at the start of Season 4 that was not possible before. Two legends in one season. That second legend is a little girl most people assume named Loba, whose father was taken out by Revenant in the early cinematic for Revenant's reveal. Now this was 25 years ago in a cold case as we had found out through Outlands Television taking over the Play Apex Twitter. But we do realize that Loba, probably as a grown-up adult, has revenge set in her mind and is looking to enter the Apex games. Now, I thought there's no way Season 4 would have anything to do with Loba, but it seems like the teases have already begun, and there's verification that that looks to be happening at Train Yard. Now, the whole reason I went here is because there's a viral clip going in the Apex Reddit community about this new legend and a wolf that's been running around at the new Hammond Robotics area in the center of the map, that one with the huge beam. If you go there, the clip shows somebody running and then seeing out of the corner of their eye a wolf very briefly. And of course, if you translate the word Loba from Spanish to English, it means wolf. So there was also a comment underneath saying, if you go to train yard every single time, I hear wolves. And people have reported hearing wolves across the map and expecting that there's something else going to happen very soon. So I wanted to check it out for myself. You're going to hear exactly what that tease is and what that secret is, because I was like, where is it? What's happening? But then this happened. Did you hear that? But if you didn't hear that, that is the sound that happens at Train Yard. It sounds like a pack of wolves. It's slight. If you're paying attention to something else, if you have music on, you may not hear it. But a lot of players have been reporting that they've been hearing this wolf sound. Does that mean anything? I don't know. But does it mean that maybe the next area that Loba will invade or that will change when Loba is introduced, uh, if she is introduced, will be near Train Yard? It's a very possible situation. Not only because people, you know, I, I think, don't necessarily love the height of Train Yard as an in-game circle, but uh, it's one of the areas in the new map that hasn't been changed yet, so it is prime for an opportunity to see something like that happen. Now, I haven't seen the wolf yet, but I did get really excited about this tease and I wanted to explore, but that's where this video takes an interesting turn. Now, if you haven't seen my other pieces of content, you know that a lot of times in Season 2, I was playing uh, and finding a lot of cheaters happening at the beginning of that season. It was kind of rampant. There were cheaters everywhere, and I hadn't seen any in Season 3 and Season 4. However, there was something suspicious about how my teammates died. It was very quick, uh, and unfortunately, I was kind of focusing on the Loba tease, so I had a chance to go over and try to help them out. I still saw my Jokester teammate alive and well, and I wanted to see if we could win this fight now that I was playing and not trying to get content. So as you can see, that's 68 damage. Pretty good, and I feel like I'm in a decent spot. If they're not that good, I might be able to take a one-on-one. -on -one, so I'm creeping cl cl uh, closely behind a rock, and here's what happens. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first of all, very, very odd to see that Pathfinder come out of nowhere on my left without seeing me approach and then immediately hit me without missing a shot for 80 damage. Now, the other Wraith coming out at the exact same time to also beam me from that far away with an R99 seemed like these players had to be phenomenal. That was just incredible execution, especially since they didn't have good information. I got the first shot on them. They didn't have the first shot on me. Now, the biggest thing that I can see when you look at whether somebody is suspicious or not is how many kills, how many wins, and what level they are. The first thing that threw me was this guy was only level 16 as far as his account, which means that it was a relatively new account, very new. And to have already seven season four wins uh, and seven kills, uh, it's just a little weird. But then I got the full answer myself. This is SBMM for you. Now to me, SBMM is a big conversation, but it seemed like these guys were trying to make a statement. What statement was that? Well, I was going to sit and watch and find out. Whether it was SBMM and they were making fake accounts, whether, uh, you know, they were good players like Wicked is also a player that used to play with Synced and Shroud. So maybe he's, this is him. He's on a Smurf. I don't know. Uh, but maybe they're just trying to prove a point and say, yeah, we can go. SBM sucks at our level, but we'll go make new accounts. We'll mess up with all you, you know, you guys, you youngins who don't really know how to play the game yet, not streaming it for a living. And we're going to go and have some fun. Overall, though, it wasn't that big of a deal. Everybody dies. But I get this little suspicion, this sense that, you know, 
I died in an incorrect way. You know, there's sometimes in Apex Legends where somebody takes you out. You know, you know, you, you ever been playing basketball or soccer? Somebody crosses you over. Somebody does a little under give and go the way that, you know, it looks really good. And you just you really fall for it. You got to give people their props. But this didn't feel like that at all. And in my previous experiences with cheaters, these are some of the biggest flags you can find. Uh, somebody has low account level and high amounts of kills. Somebody has an inordinate amount of kills in their game when they don't feel like their behavior when you watch them is of that of a top player. And also, they run all the time with their weapon out. One of the big things about cheaters is that if you have a weapon that is always out, it means that you're ready to use the thing that you're in the game using, which is a cheat to either aimbot or uh, you reduce recoil or snap the targets, kind of that thing. And unfortunately, uh, it becomes very obvious with weapons that uh, make you very slow, make you look very clumsy, don't show off your actual in-game movement because that's something you have to practice. You don't actually get a chance to put an aimbot into it. So if you see someone running this distance without pressing three and putting their, or you know, whatever it is on controller without putting their weapon, it seems like there's an issue, but I'm still not sure. I mean, at this point, I'm still just wanting to see them fight, thrown off by the seven kills. And, uh, you know, you guys may be saying, Rain Day, that's just a normal way to die, man. They just both shot you. Stop complaining. Okay, okay. Well, let's wait and see what happens when they get into this next fight. So one of the interesting things about this dynamic as I'm watching these guys is I'm very aware of the Wraith, but I'm not really paying much attention to the Pathfinder. I mean, when you look at the Wraith, they barely got any stats, so this is an account that doesn't matter, but the Pathfinder has 66,000 damage, 18 Season 4 wins, 243 kills, and look at this behavior. So unfortunately, I missed the Wraith getting that final kill. But you guys saw that weird behavior, right? She's jumping off the roof, punching, kicking. She uses her weapon to shoot just the last bullet. So it's not like she's taking somebody down from 100 to zero health, giving me a clear view. And they know I'm spectating. One of the biggest things I just hope Apex Legends stops doing is showing that people are spectating you. This is the hardest thing to do as far as catching a, a cheater because a smart cheater will try to avoid and say for a teammate who's also cheating with them, hey, why don't you play? He's looking at me. You fight. And unfortunately, for a lot of people, that will make them miss. Fortunately for me, I know that's what they're probably doing, especially if there's more than one person cheating. And so eventually I will use that to catch them or at least I think catch them. That's my plan. I'm trying to make sure that this Wraith thinks that I'm focusing solely on the Wraith. And truly, that is what I'm doing because I haven't gotten full evidence that it's them. But wait until you see this. So, okay, you saw that beam from the R99. That did not look natural, did it? 10 kills to this Wraith's name, who's literally only a level 16 account, beaming people from that far. This is definitely a smurf or this person is cheating. And that to me looked like pretty conclusive evidence that they were cheating. But I was hesitant to actually report because, you know, I think that there could be a version of that where maybe you say, no, okay, maybe it was just a really great shot. Maybe this is a truly great player on a smurf. Either way, I felt if it was a smurf, I didn't feel bad about not knowing who the player was and reporting. That felt pretty obvious to me. But again, I'm really only focusing on the Wraith. The Pathfinder is in there like swimwear, but I haven't watched him at all. And that ends up being, uh, I think, one of the biggest parts of the story that will come into play a little bit later. So now there are two squads left and this team is still running with their guns out. Again, a, a huge uh, showcase that these guys are probably cheating. However, one of the big things that you guys saw as well is that when he hit those blazing shots from far range with an R99 and, you know, one time HCOG, right? He also then for the next few shots missed a little bit like he got the kill, you know, blaze the guy down. That was the aimbot. And then he just missed a lot. Now, some cheaters will actually toggle aimbot on or off, but they'll also sometimes miss intentionally, especially if you're trying to figure out, are you cheating? Are you not cheating? You killed me. I'm watching you. They know you're watching them. They'll try to turn it off. So. Obviously, I haven't watched this Pathfinder at all. And here's the big play. Because I haven't watched him, he doesn't think I'm spectating him at all. So as he goes to take the zip line soon, watch what happens. He kind of unloads and lets his true colors show. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> so it's a little obvious now, but it's so funny because I didn't realize it was two of them cheating. In fact, this could have been all three, but I didn't spectate the lifeline. So I'm not going to report them because I don't know whether they actually cheated or not. But the Pathfinder is literally has 243 kills. He's got like 66,000 damage and he still has this account. I'm trying to expose these guys. And unfortunately, they stopped me from checking out Loba the way I wanted by taking down my teammates. I have to stop them in their cheating rampage, guys. So like the video, comment down below whether you agree or disagree. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more stories, more content here from Rain Day Gaming. Never give up, never stop gaming. I'll see you next time.